In this lesson, we're going to talk about tangents. So if I have a circle and I then draw a tangent to the circle at a certain place, it would look like this. So it would touch the circle at exactly one point. Now, if I have the center of the circle and I also know the coordinates of the point where the tangent touches the circle, well, then I can do some useful things. I could work out the equation of this tangent because I know that the equation of a tangent, or it's a straight line, so it's y equals to mx plus c. Now, we should always remember that a radius and a tangent cut each other at 90 degrees. So you can see that I've shown the 90 degree over there. So what we can do is we could work out the gradient of the radius and so that will just be the gradient formula of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and so that will just give us 10 minus 2 over 7 minus 3 and that's going to give us 4. Now we know that when two lines are 90 degrees to each other when you multiply their gradients you should get an answer of minus 1. So 4 times by the gradient of the tangent, so I'm just going to say m tangent, we know that that should give us minus 1 because they are 90 degrees to each other. So then I could solve for m tangent and that's going to give me negative 1 over 4. So there I have the gradient of the tangent. So I could fill it in over here as negative 1 over 4x plus c and then to find c you just have to substitute any point on the tangent. Well that's this point over here, the 10 and this, or the 7 and the 10. So the 10 is a y value and then I fill in the 7 and then I can go ahead and solve for c and that will give us 47 over 4. And so the equation of the tangent is going to be y equals to minus a quarter x plus 47 over 4. So the main idea is to know that the tangent and the radius form 90 degrees and if they form 90 degrees then when you multiply their two gradients together it should give you negative 1. Here's another example. Determine the equation of the tangent to the circle and then they give us the circle equation at the point 1 and minus 6. So in the previous example, I showed you using a diagram, but you have to get good at doing it without using a diagram, okay? Because then it just speeds up your time in the test. So we know that from this information here, we could get the center of the circle. So the center of the circle will be 1 and negative 3. What you can do in a test is just draw yourself a quick little circle. It doesn't have to be accurate or anything like that. It's just for yourself to remember. And then you could put the center of the circle. Then they tell us that the tangent is at the point 1 and minus 6, okay, so that's going to be somewhere over here, and we know that there's going to be a tangent at that point, so it'll look something like that. So we know that we need to go and work out the gradient from the center of the circle to the point where the tangent touches, so we'll use the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 formula, and so I'm going to say minus 6 minus minus 3 over 1 minus 1, and that's going to give us a zero at the bottom, which is undefined, which is absolutely fine. It means that the line is completely vertical. So the tangent, it's going to be a bit of a weird one, this, but if we know that the radius is completely vertical, well, that means that the tangent will must be completely horizontal. So that means that its gradient would be zero. Now, zero X is the same as nothing. It's not having anything there, so we just have y equals to c, and then we can go plug in a value to find c, but remember it must be a point on the tangent, so we can plug this point over here, uh, but Kevin, what's the x value? Well, where does the x value go? Well, it doesn't have to go anywhere. We just plug in the y value, and then c is negative 6, so the final equation for that tangent is going to be y equals to negative 6. Okay, so it doesn't have any gradient or anything like that because it's completely horizontal. And then the last question for this video is determine the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point 3 and square root 5. So that shouldn't be square root 5, it should be square root 5 minus 3, like that. Okay, so we know that the center of the circle can be obtained from this over here, and so that's going to be minus 1 and, so not minus 1, 1 and minus 3 and then this over here is the point where the tangent touches so I'm just going to write that underneath I'm not going to draw any circles this time 
it's a good skill to be able to do this without drawing a circle. So we know that we need to find this, the, the gradient from the center to the point where the tangent touches. So we need the gradient between these two lines. So that's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to start off with this one over here. So that's going to be square root 5 minus 3 minus minus 3 over 3 minus 1. And that's just going to give us the square root of 5 over 2. So that is the gradient from the center to the point where the tangent touches. I said I wasn't going to draw a circle, but it's very tempting. So we know that the center is over here, and we've just and then we've got some random point on the edge of the circle, and we've just found that gradient over there. So a tangent would look like that, and so we need to now work out the gradient of the tangent. So we know that the gradient of the radius times by the gradient of the tangent, well, we know that they are 90 degrees, so when you multiply them, you should get minus 1. So the radius is square root 5 over 2. The tangent, we don't know. And so if we go get tangent alone by dividing, we're going to end up with negative 2 over the square root of 5. So the gradient of the tangent is going to be negative 2 over the square root of 5 plus c. Then to find c, you need to plug in the point, you need to plug in this point over here, which is that over there. So square root 5 minus 3 is the y value, and that's equal to negative 2 over square root 5 times by the x value at that point, which is 3. And now we can go ahead and solve. So what I first want to do is just multiply that this part together, and that's going to give us minus 6 over the square root of 5 plus c. I'm then going to solve for c and you're going to get an answer of, I'm just going to round this one to 1.92, so not the nicest of values. And so the final answer for that tangent is going to be y equals to minus 2 over the square root of 5x plus 1.92.